With all of the controversy surrounding Shane Dawson right now, I thought this was the perfect time to make a video about why you should be more like Shane Dawson to improve your mental health. Stay tuned to find out why. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. The other day, I made a video about how to handle an existential crisis. And here's a quick clip in case you missed it. I just laugh when I hear people talk about this existential crisis. I'm like, wow, like all you gotta do is make your purpose about helping others. And not only are you helping yourself, but you're making this world a little bit better of a place. So when I made that video, it was talking about how people are searching for this meaning, this, this purpose, right? And uh, I talked about how like my purpose is just to help people. It gives me something to work towards every single day. And I think Shane is a prime example of that. Recently, recently, he has done things that are just so inspiring to me. So let me let me lay uh, down some groundwork real quick. Um, being a, a new YouTuber, you know, I've been at it about six months. Like it, it's rough, especially with the uphill battle I'm doing, trying to talk about mental health, addiction, you know, all these like subjects that nobody really likes talking about. So it's very uphill. And you know, I reach out and I, I've met a lot of fantastic people. So this is actually requested by my friend Chris from The Rewired Soul. Um, he does a lot of videos on mental health and things like that. So um, credit goes, or shout out goes out to him. Thank you for giving me this idea because I'm really happy with how it turned out. So go check his channel out. Doesn't know I'm saying this, but go check him out and tell him Panko Bunny sent you. And I keep hitting the treat, oh my God. But like, it, it's difficult. It's still difficult to grow and gain an audience and get your name out there and all that kind of stuff. But recently like looking at people like Shane I'm like man like more people should be like Shane and not to help me out like I'm gonna touch on this in a minute but not for selfish purposes but anyways like so those of you who haven't been tuning into Shane's channel like so this guy Bobby Burns this dude Bobby Burns makes a hate video just straight up bashing Shane right bashing his conspiracy theories and Shane watches it hilarious video by the way him watching it but then he invites this dude out to his house so Shane's already had practice confronting people like yo like what's up let's let's talk this out like holy crap like if only more people could do that most people on this planet they're either super aggressive right or they're very passive aggressive like not just on the internet and the internet's its own monster but just with the people in our lives right like you just don't you don't like janet from accounting or you don't like that neighbor right and you do these like terrible things but shane brought Bobby onto his channel and showed what it's like to just have this conversation. And even though they didn't fully agree, they came to terms and they developed this friendship. But in the meantime, while Shane was doing that, he got to know Bobby a little bit more in his struggle. And Shane was able to empathize with Bobby, knowing that Bobby wanted to grow his channel and Bobby kind of had to do what he had to do. And some of the videos he made was just blasting other YouTubers just so it would get views. And then Shane, rather than holding on to this resentment towards Bobby, Shane helped Bobby out and did some collabs and Bobby's channel exploded. I was watching, I think he was at about like 300K subscribers and now he's like almost doubled it, right? But even more recently, and it's so disgusting and sad that this, this other channel, when they did this video that um, is accusing Shane, they used Shane's most recent act of altruism to try to slander him. But those of you who didn't see, Shane was just chilling with his boyfriend, Ryland, and he came across a video of this amazing young woman, amazing young woman uh, on YouTube. And he's sitting there, he's like, this girl's awesome. Why doesn't she have more views? And just out of nowhere, like Shane's just like, yo, I'm gonna hit this girl up and I'm gonna promote the heck out of her. Like she deserves this, right? So one of the one of the hardest things to teach, one of the hardest things to teach to people, and it's something I try to teach my clients every day, is to get out of self-seeking. So many of us, our default mode is to only do things if we get something in return. And it's this crazy kind of tug of war that we play with our fellow humans all the time. Like, think about it real quick, think about it. Like, what did Shane really gain from bringing Bobby on his channel? What did Shane really gain 
from bringing Sophie on his channel. Not much, it was all for them. You know, and he just did it out of the kindness of his heart. And you know what's amazing about it? And this is the reason why I'm saying what you can learn from Shane Dawson. Check out this clip because this is exactly why. And I am so, so proud of her and excited for her. And I just can't wait to see what happens. And watching her perform my mom's favorite song and watching my mom cry, it just, it's something I will remember for ever. So Sophie Bacora, I will never forget your name. Please go over to Sophie's channel, check it out, subscribe. She deserves it. So as you saw right there, like, do you see that? Did you see that look in his eyes? Did you see that feeling he got? Like, he felt good. He felt good about doing it. Like, the way the brain works, our brain is set up on this cycle to chase rewards. Like, when your reward, when you realize that a great reward for your brain is to do nice things for other people just because, you start to wanna do it more and more and more. And like, it, it really sucks that, you know, Shane, you know, he got he got pushed a step back with um, the recent rumors and everything going on about him. But like, I don't even know if Shane realizes that he is progressing in his mental health, which is something that I try to teach people at a drug and alcohol treatment center and Shane is doing it naturally. He is giving without expecting anything in return. And you know, I, I felt it necessary to make this video because I don't think many people understand, you know, how important this is. And like, and with with 11, uh, 11 million uh, subscribers on his channel, like the inspiration and the message that he's putting out there, like basically all summed up, go out there, do good things for other people, don't expect anything in return, like, it's it's amazing, it's amazing, and a lot of people should be looking up to him. So, um, as I mentioned in my last video, um, I know Shane's gonna get through this, he has awesome support, all, all day on Twitter, I've just seen his fans tweeting out stuff and things like that, so like, I'm really impressed by with, uh, what Shane's been doing, and if you're a fan of his, like, you know, I, I hope that you truly appreciate everything that he's putting out there to kinda show you show you how you can become a better person too, all right? But hey, like I'm trying to get Shane's attention and be like, yo dude, hey, you're doing great, right? So if you're a fan of his and you stumbled across this video, go ahead and tweet it at him. I'm not trying to get no popularity off of it. I just wanna help this dude out. But um, I was telling somebody else on Twitter earlier, like I don't really care if he sees this or not. You know, if, if people just randomly come across this video or even my current audience comes across this video, I hope they check out his channel. And you know what, I'm actually gonna link it in the end screen. So um, I'm just here purely, purely, purely to try to help as many people out with their mental health as possible. All right, but anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, all the videos on my channel, they're meant to help you out with your mental health. I also do some stuff about addiction recovery, so make sure you hit that little round subscribe button. So over to the left of me, there is a link to Shane Dawson's channel if you wanna check out some of the videos that I've been talking about if you haven't seen them, or you can click or tap on that thumbnail, check out another video on my channel. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time.